I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my forecast for you, Leo, for the week of September the 26th. Now, I've been letting you know about my new site, jenniferangel.com. It's jenniferangelhoroscope.com, actually, but uh, it's easier to just promote Jennifer Angel and have that redirected. My long association with New York Daily News is coming to a close at the end of this month. So if you've been reading me on there, you can hop over to jenniferangel.com. I've got all the copy on there, uh, weekly, daily, monthly, and uh, you know the normal articles. So I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, let's have a look at what's going on. This is an exciting week, particularly as September has been a very intense month. Um, so right at the start of the week, we've got the Sun, which is your ruler, and Jupiter uh, in a conjunction. It's thought to be uh, one of, if not the most beneficial, powerful, and uh, abundant and lucky sort of aspect for the whole year. I mean, that personally, I like anything that with Jupiter. Um, but it's in your area of creativity, communication. Now, Mercury is out of retrograde now, too. And um, it's in your area of uh, money and possessions. So you can really step forward now and make an impact, uh, get across your presentations, negotiations, and what you do now can or does have, let's hope so anyway, it does have the potential to re, to be good financially. Now Mars is also in the move this week and going to move into your area of productivity. You'll join Pluto and Pluto comes out, out of retrograde finally after five months. So this is a pretty powerful sort of week to do with business and uh, creativity and money for you, Leo. Now the one thing you do want to make sure you do is make sure that you're organized because um, Mars in your area of productivity can have you just, you know, doing, trying to do too much. So you want to just, you know, more than what's physically possible so you want to pace yourself make sure that you look after your health and well-being as well okay don't let that fall down to the bottom of the list um, and there's a situation at the end of the week which could be around your home and family keep it in perspective um, you know what first comes out of that may not be how it ends up okay not to say that it won't be good but you want to sort of keep the keep it real and we do have a new moon as well right at the end of the month and that's certainly going to help you with connections and new starts and getting together with people that uh, you feel you can work with going forward okay so all in all this uh, it, it looks like a great week. I do hope it is, particularly after such an intense month that we've had. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on jenniferangel.com. Bye for now.